this is the Sony Xperia Z Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean smartphone, Sony's latest flagship Android phone with a 5-inch display. Despite the large 5-inch display, the Xperia Z actually looks and feels like it's just 4 inches, thanks to the display's 16x9 widescreen aspect ratio. The phone is also very slim and has a well-balanced weight, making it comfortable to hold. You can't deny the phone is very pretty, but thanks to all that glossy material, the phone is a fingerprint magnet. Fortunately, the phone is very easy to wash. That's right, the Xperia Z, like the Xperia Go, can be submerged in up to 5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes, well enough for you to pick it up if you dropped it into a pool. That's possible through the use of flaps everywhere, covering every opening in the device. We found that some of the flaps were not well labeled, but given some time, I'm sure you'll remember where every port is. Speaking of flaps, this device supports micro SD cards for expansion, uses a micro SIM card, and comes with a micro USB port for data and for recharging the built-in battery. Apart from the power button, which Sony made easy to reach for a large device like this, there are no other physical buttons. Instead, the Xperia Z relies on the on-screen navigation buttons that Google introduced in Android 4. As a flagship device, the Xperia Z is designed to be up there in terms of numbers, with a 13 megapixel camera on the back, a front-facing camera, and a 5-inch display with a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 resulting in an insane 443 pixels per inch pixel density. Powering all of these things, a quad-core 1.5GHz Snapdragon CPU. Sony also put in all its well-known technology into the Xperia Z, with technology from its camera line that includes the Xmor RS mobile camera processor, the Walkman music player app, and the Bravia display engine, although we did find the display slightly washed out. As for software, we were glad to see Sony complying with Google standards with 4.1.2, supporting Android's on-screen touch navigation and Google Now. We were also very glad to find that Sony has toned down on its Android customizations, adding minor features that improve the experience but not get in Android's way too much. They've customized the unlock screen to control music and launch the camera app, added additional buttons in the notification panel to manage the phone, shortcuts to widgets in the app switcher, additional options in the app launcher, custom power management software, DLNA to wirelessly playback music on supported media centers and TVs, and the previously mentioned Walkman app. In summary, Sony took their best features, such as the water resistance, camera, and other hardware, put it into the Xperia Z, while scaling down on things that they aren't very good at such as customizing Android, making this a well-balanced Android phone that shows off Sony's hardware and Google software.